Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about camber in sim racing. We'll explain what it is, how it impacts your car's handling and how you can use it to gain time on track. Speaking of gaining time, we're also going to analyse the effects of changing the camber settings using the track and platform where you can analyse your own driving to make you faster using the code CAMBER. So what is CAMBER? When looking at the car front on, camber is the angle at which the wheels sit compared to the car. So when cornering with no camber, centrifugal force means the car is constantly being pushed outside, but the tyre grips and subsequently deflects to the outside instead. This results in less contact with the tarmac and therefore less grip. So by using camber, we can help ensure a larger contact patch under that additional load. And there are three types to consider. Negative camber is where the top of the wheels angle towards the centre of the car. This provides additional corner stability as there is a larger contact patch under additional load, but it reduces braking performance due to a smaller area of contact on the straight. Neutral camber is where the wheels sit perpendicular to the road, which offers increased stability on the straight, but limits corner grip due to the deflection we spoke about before. Technically, there is also positive camber, but this is only used in special circumstances, and if you tried it on a race circuit, you'd see a gravel trap more often than the finish line if you used it. But let's put camber into action on the track. On ACC and around Barcelona, the McLaren 650S GT3 struggles with understeer on corner entry and instability exiting corners. So by reversing what we've just looked at, to fix understeer we need more negative camber and oversteer needs more neutral camber. To combat the McLaren's problems, let's increase the negative camber on the front wheels to enhance that turn in performance and then decrease the negative camber on the rear wheels to improve our exit stability troubles. Once a few laps have been driven, you can clearly see the speed difference on corner entry and the more decisive acceleration now that the rear is more stable. These changes significantly improved the car's turning performance and with a more stable rear end, it gave the driver confidence to gain the time. If you're still struggling to gain time though, Track Tinder can help you do it. By showing you advanced insights, you can see more clearly than ever exactly where you're losing time. Additionally, you can browse and automatically download setups to your game and therefore spend more time driving and getting faster. By signing up with the code CAMBER, you can get 30 days of limited data insights for free. So get started today and make yourself faster than ever. But that's it from us today. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon.